All right, we'll definitely keep that in mind for this next example. This one's 2x cubed minus 18x squared minus 44x. All right, so let's comb this over. Uh, it looks like everything is divisible by 2, and uh, they all have an x in common. So let's take out a 2x at the very beginning. All right, what do we have left? Uh, 2x cubed divided by 2x would just be an x squared. Negative 18 divided by 2 would be a negative 9x. And a negative 44x uh, uh, divided by 2x would be a minus 22. Okay, so now we want to factor that into some binomials. Let's go ahead and copy over this 2x just so we can keep track of it. Okay, so I need my first terms to multiply together and get an x squared. Well, that'd be an x and another x. Now I need to look at my last terms so that they multiply together to give me a negative 22. So some of our possibilities are 1 and 22 and 2 and 11. All right, since the last one is negative and my middle term is negative, I know that these will be different in sign. All right, so let's take the 2 and 11 off of our list. Those are the ones we need. A negative 11 and a positive 2. And now let's just quickly uh, combine things together and make sure that it really is the correct factorization. So x squared minus 11x plus 2x minus 22. Combining these middle guys, x squared minus 9x minus 22. So that definitely checks with uh, this polynomial right here. Now, if you want to go ahead and put in the 2x as well, this will take you back all the way to the original one. Remember to use your distribution property so you can see how that will work out. 2x cubed uh, minus 18x squared minus 44x. And sure enough, that is the same as the original. So everything checks out. I know that this is the correct factorization for our polynomial. Now, just a few things. Make sure that uh, when you're using this method, always check for a common factor to pull it out. Uh, make sure you set down your first terms and then your last terms. And definitely check those signs to help you eliminate some of your possibilities. Thank you for watching educator.com.